Good evening everyone, here's our latest video update on Typhoon Solik on this Wednesday evening, July 10th. And again, we continue to watch the system that has rapidly intensified from a mere tropical storm two days ago to a Category 4 typhoon according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Now, the system thankfully seems to have halted its intensification phase over the past six hours. Nevertheless, the system remains a very strong cyclone and still posing a serious threat for the Japanese islands and most importantly towards Taiwan as we head into uh, Thursday and Friday over here. Now the system continues to move across the Philippine Sea. In fact, it has entered the Philippine area of responsibility prompting Pag-asa to give the system a local name of Bagyong Waning. Now, the system was last located approximately 840 kilometers southeast of Okinawa or about 1,030 150 kilometers east southeast of Taipei. Now, this is the last visible satellite image that we have just before sunset in this part of the world, and you can see the system still has that beautiful uh, 40 kilometer wide eye surrounded, still surrounded by a thick ring of strong convective activity. Again, system still looking very symmetrical with that radial outflow and also that spiral bands forming just well ahead of that circulation center. You can also see in this satellite image Okinawa's, Okinawa Island starting to be included in that image and uh, that just means the system nearing that uh, region here, the Ryukyu Islands. Now the system again remains a strong cyclone with maximum sustained winds of 185 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 280 kilometers per hour according to the JMA. Now the Joint Typhoon Warning Center again still slightly has higher wind estimates actually sustained winds here of up to 125 knots or about 230 kilometers per hour again making Solik a category 4 typhoon just below super typhoon status. Now the system continues to move west northwestward at 20 kilometers per hour. Now however the uh, Solik hasn't really been gaining much latitude over the past 6 hours meaning it isn't really creeping much farther north. Uh, than we have thought yesterday and uh, that could be a sign of the subtropical ridge being much stronger than forecast. Now looking at the latest infrared image the system also continues to again exhibit a very symmetrical look however we have noticed that the warm the, that the cloud top surrounding the eye has warmed just a little bit you can see those red banding uh, meaning about a negative 70 degrees Celsius or colder it has been broken especially on the northwestern periphery of the system. That doesn't mean the system has reached its peak and will weaken anytime soon. Now, uh, what we are watching, however, though, is the uh, possibility of an owl replacement cycle. Now, this is the microwave image, some sort of like an x ray taking, uh, penetrating deep into the clouds and looking at the uh, formation inside the system. You can see that well defined eye wall. Again, still very strong looking on the microwave, but look at this, a concentric ring starting to form, and we've noticed that yesterday uh, as well. Now, uh, it doesn't mean that the eye wall replacement cycle will happen anytime soon, but if it does, it will cause a temporarily temporary weakening with Solik possibly by tomorrow if it does begin tonight. Again, that is another... Uh, important aspect of the forecasting that we'll continue to monitor over the next few hours. Now, speaking of that ridge, again, the system Typhoon Solik is still being steered by this subtropical ridge anchored south of Japan, again, continuing to move on a west northwesterly direction. I remember yesterday we were talking about a possible mid latitude trough that will be moving out of Central Asia and moving east northeastward. Now, the computer models are saying that that trough that uh, that shortwave isn't really strong enough to break down this subtropical ridge, meaning Typhoon Solik could continue in this west-northwesterly path, perhaps on its way towards Taiwan by, say, uh, Thursday and into Friday. In fact, the computer models have slightly shifted further south on their forecast tracks compared to yesterday, and now the majority of them taking Solik south of the Miyako and Yayama Islands of Japan and perhaps making landfall into northeastern Taiwan possibly by uh, late Thursday evening that's tomorrow by Friday uh, 
morning actually depending on the speed of the system still far from Taiwan about 1300 kilometers so still have time for this but if you are living in this part of the world and also parts of Miyakoyama Islands um, do prepare now start stocking up on food and water and as always continue to consult with the officials here and the uh, official weather bureau out here in the in Taiwan is the Central Weather Bureau and obviously they will have the uh, final say on uh, on the warnings and forecast on the system for Taiwan now you can also see this uh, computer models after Taiwan will be tracking Solik across southeastern China so the provinces of possibly say Fujian, Shenzhen, and uh, Jiangxi could be under the gun with the system now the Solik will weaken definitely upon landfall in Taiwan however we expect it to remain a strong perhaps category 2 typhoon as it makes its second landfall out here in the southeastern China so still a very serious threat uh, not only for Taiwan and for the Japanese islands but also again for parts of uh, southeastern and eastern China uh, after landfall looking at the computer models they start to bring it northward but it will be moving well west of Shanghai which is located over here nevertheless the city could still experience some strong winds and even some heavy rains as we move into Sunday and Monday now as we look at the official forecasts from the uh, numerous weather agencies out here in the western pacific beginning with the, J with the uh, japan meteorological agency again shifting their forecasts slightly further south and now including taiwan in that possible landfall area now again uh, just like we've been saying before the system forecast to track south of the uh, miyako and yayama islands well south of okinawa but still the island can still be uh, susceptible s to uh, strong winds, definitely high waves, and some occasional showers from the outer bands of the system. But the uh, mo more serious areas and, uh, to to watch is uh, the islands southwest of Okinawa and more importantly Taiwan, as it looks like the system will be tracking very closely to Taipei by Friday morning. Now looking at the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's forecast, you can also see them shifting their track now south. Well, yesterday their track was north of Taiwan, but now the latest official track from GTWC putting Solik again into northern Taiwan, possibly uh, making landfall and possibly making uh, going across the city of Taipei. Again, same timing with the JMA. We're looking at about Friday morning here for the potential landfall point and uh, now thankfully though J Joint Typhoon Warning Center is forecasting a steady decrease in intensity we do expect Solik to remain uh, category 4 until say tomorrow again that depends on the eyewall replacement cycle and then it will start to weaken thereafter still a very strong cycle on the again uh, around category 3 typhoon as it makes landfall into Taiwan and then we can significantly but still a strong typhoon as it makes into uh, landfall into China and then we can significantly after that potentially dissipating as a tropical depression as we move into Monday and that concludes her video update for this evening you can continue to uh, again if you do live in Taiwan and in the surrounding Japanese islands can please prepare now and continue to closely monitor the system will have the latest updates about Solik on our websites located over here so uh, please do check them out as well stay safe guys have a good night